humanoid nation. Huh. Some people might say that I gotta comb my hair in the morning when I wake up. Screw it. I don't really like combing my hair. That's why I always shave my head. I haven't shaved my head in quite a while. That's why it's all frizzy and shit. I haven't had a comb in like since I was 16. That was a long time ago. That's when I started shaving my head. It's like, when you shave your head, you don't even own a cone. So yeah, that's why my hair is like this. Eventually I'll take a shower and it's all good. You just do this and shit, blah, blah, blah. But eventually I gotta get my hair cut to get it shaved again. But anyways, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Cause you just clicked on this link and I haven't even talked about it yet. But anyways, let's get to what the point of it, this video is. Cause you clicked it. Enough stalling. Cody Rhodes got released. Not really surprising since Cody Rhodes has been asking for his release for quite a while now. And they finally requested it. Kind of sucks that he got released, but they haven't been doing anything with him. Except that whole Stardust gimmick. Which was cool in the beginning, but then it was just getting really, really old after. And you would have thought that after Dusty Rhodes died, rest in peace Dusty Rhodes, that they would get rid of the Stardust gimmick and go back to him being Cody Rhodes, but no! He's not! He just kept on being Stardust. Well, that sucks, but yeah, so he asked for his release. Hopefully he'll do better in other places. I hope he goes to Ring of Honor. I'd like to see Cody Rhodes in Ring of Honor. That'd be amazing. Him taking on Matt Seidel and all them guys, Austin Aries. Man, you can't tell me Cody Rhodes is not Matt Seidel or Austin Aries. Wait, no, Austin Aries isn't. What the fuck am I talking about? Austin Aries is in NXT right now. You can't tell me that Cody Rhodes versus Matt Seidel is a dream match or him against Roderick Strong or against Jack Evans. Is Jack Evans still in Ring of Honor? It's been a while. But yeah, that's it. That's going on with Cody Rhodes. Also, Extreme Rules. Meh? The match at night was the Fatal 4 for the IC title. That was a good one. It's like, I love how they're making Sami Zayn like the Tommy Dreamer of today, like where he's this close, but he can never get it. Is it just me or does anyone else see that? I was like, either that or doing that accidentally, because like Sami Zayn always has the look of, of depression whenever he doesn't win a big match. Because yeah, that's what they do. They're making him chase the title, which I like, because his feud with Kevin Owens is still going. Who knows when he'll win the IC title, but right now he was this close. That's what I like about the character Sami Zayn. Like, you feel sorry for the guy, but yeah. The rest of the pay-per-view, The submission match, I would have thought would have been better since it's Natalia versus Charlotte, but it was just another match. It wasn't that great. You would have thought it was amazing, but no, it wasn't. Uh, the Asylum match, it was okay. Up until the end where Chris Jericho got landed on the tax. And I was like, holy shit, i never seen Chris Jericho take such a bump. But it was an okay match. Decent. And the rest of the card was meh. Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, I was so bored of it. I heard it was a good match, I just stopped watching because like, I muted the shit out of it. And then when I came back of it, I saw that Seth Rollins came back. Which is pretty cool. Seth Rollins is back finally. It's a good thing Seth Rollins came back before John Cena. Well, actually, wait, okay, no. John Cena came back at Mania, but he wasn't back full time. I'm talking about a wrestler coming back full time. So Seth Rollins is back. So next pay per view, Money in the Banks, we get to see Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns, hopefully. Hopefully that's where they're going. So why else would they do that angle if. They were going to have Seth Rollins versus Reigns at Money in the Bank. But yeah, that's going to be good. But like I said, Extreme Rules, the pay-per-view was just meh. And Cody Rhodes got released, which was surprising, but not really surprising. And who's looking forward to Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins in the next pay-per-view? Because Rollins was never defeated, you know? He was injured and shit. But anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.